What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And, you know, once again, California doing California things. <laughs> I mean, just the, the governor that we got is the dumbest governor in the world, man. One of the worst governors because he doesn't understand the people that he's representing. He thinks he does, okay, because he's a big leftist. And leftists always think they know everything because they went to college for a couple of years. So now we understand everything about all communities all over the world because we listen to our stupid professors or whatever. But this guy is so idiotic. I mean, he just makes these mistakes constantly. Uh, so as you can see right here, Hollywood managed to kill the Golden Goose. California's film tax credit set to punish projects that don't meet diversity goals. So I was kind of stunned at this at first because i was like um i knew that they had this film tax credit set set up where essentially if they decided that they wanted to go hey super diversity okay we're going to be diversity champions uh, behind the scenes not in front of the camera but the behind the scenes people if we're going to be diversity champions and we're going to make our workforce super diverse okay guess what they'll give us a bonus okay they're going to add a bonus this came out like last year in august all right. And I was like, yeah, whatever. You know, if they want to do that, you know, as long as it doesn't mess with the movie production, as long as these cats actually understand what they're doing and how they're doing it, everything should be cool. OK, but apparently that wasn't enough. And I don't think people were actually latching on to that. Right. I don't think these studios were actually saying, let's go ahead and diversify our workforce to get this little bonus. All right. They were like, nah, we're good. We'll go ahead and just make good movies, or at least that's the idea behind it. Of course, they don't make good movies whatsoever. Uh, but I think what ended up happening is they weren't seeing the results they were looking for. And California said, all right, screw it. Instead of actually giving them a bonus, we'll punish them if they don't. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Right. And now, basically, what they're going to end up doing is pushing people all the way up out of California. Let's go ahead and read this. This is on FandomWire.com. A new proposal from the California government office mandates production houses to meet their diversity goals or they will lose 4% of their tax credit allocation. This is part of a five-year extension plan on the state's $330 million tax credit. All right, so, so get this. Production houses must submit a diversity work plan wherein they must employ crew members that reflect the state's demographics. Had they failed to meet their goals or even neglected to submit a work plan, they would be subject to a deduction of 4% of their taxes incentives per the California Film Commission. Now, now this is what I was referring to. Uh, the incentive program for movie productions has been brewing since 2009 and was established to combat runaway production. You guys know that all of these other location states have been kind of peeling off of Hollywood's business, right? Georgia has a nice thriving film industry going. Atlanta, a lot of stuff is filmed down there. Also in Toronto, okay, up north, all right, there's a thriving film industry going there. A lot of stuff is filmed in Toronto. They're trying to start trying to pull away from California because Cali is expensive to do business in, and they don't understand this, okay? They say, well, let's just give them some incentives, all right? So, all right, we're going to give you a bonus here or a bonus there, all right, in order to keep business. But instead, now they're going in the opposite direction. They're idiots. In the past two years, California legislators have seen the opportunity to broaden the spectrum and use it to diversify the entertainment business. Exactly. They basically want to use this as kind of a carrot saying, hey, if we can use that little bonus to diversify the entertainment business, hey, we look like heroes. OK, uh, a $150 million program was founded in 2021 by Assemblywoman Wendy Carol Lotto uh, to cater to the manufacturing of sound stages. The bill included a provision that allotted a 4% bonus to all houses that meet diversity goals, right? They are going to get a 4% bonus if they said, hey, you guys meet these little diversity checklist goals. Hey, we got four more percent coming your way. Good job. And they rub their pat their little heads or whatever. The allocated $330 million agenda will expire in 2025, but lawmakers proposed to extend it to 2030. Last year, the government was planning to implement a bonus from the style stage credit. That's what I was talking about last year, uh, although the progress was delayed in August. And then in February this year, the proposal was amended and the latest version now provides a 4% penalty for those who fail to comply. So they went from a 4% bonus. Here's some little extra money for doing this diversity stuff that we want you to do. And now we're going to penalize you if you don't it's absolutely retarded the motion picture association has not commented on the plan yet i know they ain't got nothing good to say about it <laughs> i guarantee you that uh, since it remains under the scrutiny of the legislators uh the proposal reiterates that the company's uh, plan should reflect the state's population in line of race, ethnicity, disability, status, and gender let's take a look at that real quick because i want to show you guys the breakdown OK, so this is on bounding in the comments. It's basically the same story. Uh, but what they do is they break down uh, according to the 2020 census, the demographics. OK, so we got 41 percent white, 
6% black, 40% Hispanic, 15% Asian, 1.6 American Indian and Alaska Native alone. All right, we got 0.4% of Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander alone. And then you got 21.2% some other race. All right, how did it going to quantify that, right? Some other race. And then 10.2% individuals whose ethnicity is composed of two or more races. Again, how are you going to quantify these numbers, okay? You can't. Right. You can't quantify some other race. That could be anything. You can't quantify 10.2 percent. That could be anything when it's two or more races. All right. And look, let's just be real. It's really about black. OK, it's going to be about black, maybe some Hispanic, but it's mostly going to be about black alone. OK, we need more black people behind the scenes. That's all it really comes down to. All of these other races are never really crying about this stuff. But the black community, are oh, they up in arms all the time. I should know I'm from that community. I hear it all the time. All right. And listen, I'm not against the black community trying to get theirs, trying to go and get something for themselves. OK, but this is not the way you do it. You don't do it through quotas. OK. Okay? Racial quotas never, ever work. And it doesn't really even make sense. I'll get to that in a minute. And it says here, the legislative analysis office came to the conclusion that the entertainment business is more or less a couple of percentage points higher without the program. OK, there is no assurance, though, that the extension given by the legislature would even cause any significant expansion for the economy. This isn't going to make any difference, even if they put it through. OK, and it will get put through. Trust me, but it's not going to make any difference anyway. But where it will make a difference is it's just going to drive the entertainment industry right out of California and right into other states. Lights, camera, Nevada, a look inside Nevada's growing film industry. Yeah, that's what's going to start happening. Everybody's going to start leaving the state. All right. Hey, you know, I know that the thing about it is, is California, all of the, it's Hollywood. So all kinds of cats that want to work in Hollywood live in Southern California. OK, but Nevada is only a three hour drive away, or at least Vegas is It's like, hey, man, Vegas is three hours. Hey, man, can we just like jump in the car and just, you know, we'll make a daily trip every day back and forth to Vegas, you know, or even better. Uh, this was just announced a construction of a bullet train from SoCal to Vegas set to begin. All right. So this thing is probably going to be ready in a couple of years and we're going to start seeing, you know, one hour trips. OK, one hour trips from Vegas to Cali. OK, or back and forth. All right. People could just jump in there and that's their commute. All right. I'm sure that the film industry would absolutely have no problem moving everything to Vegas. And I'm pretty sure that Vegas will have absolutely no problems moving everything over to them. That's the whole thing. That's the reason, again, why this is so stupid. All you're doing is just driving out your business and you're just creating competitors somewhere else. All right. You're just creating competition in other states that you don't need to. All you need to do is just shut up and let Hollywood do what Hollywood does. All right. And if you really want to change communities, the way to do it is not through a racial quota anyway. All right. People make decisions right in their lives you know, based upon what their interests are. It has nothing to do with necessarily, oh, we're excluded from here or we're excluded from there. No, it has everything to do with, well, what do you want to do? But like, for instance, the NFL is overrepresented with black athletes, according to the black share of the population in this particular country. Same with the NBA, right? So should we get laws that try to equalize so that the NFL and the NBA racial demographics is reflective of the population? Of course not. That wouldn't make any sense, right? It's a meritocracy. Hey, best man for the job, okay? If this guy is faster than this guy, this guy gets it, regardless of skin color or whatever. Or if this guy's a better player than that guy, that guy gets it, regardless of skin color. That's the way it's supposed to be, all right? But this idea that this is why quotas are dumb, okay? This is what makes quotas dumb. Quotas assume that all people are equally interested across the board, okay, in everything, right? Regardless of culture, regardless of family upbringing, regardless of anything. It's idiotic. It's an absolutely a leftist, stupid leftist notion that all people are equally interested across the board. OK, that's why diversity quotas don't work. They don't take into account anything about people, their individual choices, what they're actually interested in, how they where they came from culturally, what their cultures are interested in, what their communities are interested in. It doesn't take any of that into account. Oh, we're just looking at race, skin color. That's the only thing that matters. Let me let me give you guys an example. I was just looking at this. Now, this is on a Variety article, right? And it's talking about representation throughout Hollywood unions. And here's the statistics for the Latino and Asian representation in 21 Hollywood unions. And you can see, just like on that Bounding in the Comics article, about 39.4% of the Latino share of the California population, um, and then 15.5% of the population is Asians, okay? So see how they're represented here, okay? 
you got overrepresentation for uh, Latinos in the laborers and the plumbers, right? 52%, 51%. Okay, they're overrepresented based on that 40% number, right? But then look where the Asian Americans are. They're not even close, okay? They're not even close to their 15.5%, right? They don't, they're not interested in being laborers. They're not interested in being plumbers, electrical workers, plasters, drivers, et cetera, et cetera and so on, okay? And you see that kind of throughout this whole thing. But look what happens when you get to animators. Now they're overrepresented, okay? Or at least even close to the representation of where their population levels are. So you have to ask yourself, well, why is it that Asian Americans are not interested in being any of these other things, at least according to what I'm looking at, all right? They don't seem to have as much representation in those things, but they have an over-representation in animators because this is where their culture and their communities are pushing them in Hollywood, okay? They push them into other areas and other fields, but in terms of Hollywood, in terms of these particular behind-the-scene roles, this is where Asian Americans are generally trying to go, all right? Just like you could say, hey, the over-representation here this is what they're trying to do in the Latino community, all right? Almost spot on with the electrical workers, okay? A little bit over and plumbers and laborers. And then when you look at everything else, plasterers, drivers, painters, and you know, there might be a slight degree of percentage, give or take, you know, maybe a few more are interested in being painters and maybe a few more might be interested in being props or whatever. But generally speaking, this is kind of where things fall, all right? And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. People are interested in different things. Like I said, with my community, the black community, people want to be athletes. People want to be entertainers. They want to be singers and rappers. They want to be in front of the camera. All right. They're not so much interested in doing the behind the scenes stuff. Okay. You do have people that are, of course, that's absolutely true about everything. Look, I mean, Asian Americans, there's people that want to do hair and makeup. Okay. 4%, all right? But more seem to be focused on this animators thing. People make different choices in their lives, all right? Based on their communities, based on their families, based on where they grew up, okay? The things that they're interested in doing, the things that they enjoy doing. And if you see an overrepresentation in a particular field, that means there's more interest in that field from that particular demographic, okay? So that means, yeah, if you see 70% of the NFL is black athletes, even though black people only make up 13% of the population, chances are there's a very high interest okay in being an athlete in the black community an extremely high interest because there's going to be a lot of cats that don't make it out of your community in that so when you see that asians are 16.6 percent represented in animators all right but they're only 15.5 percent of the population of california chances are that means okay there's a high or higher interest in them becoming animators okay so there's a lot of animators that don't make it in that particular field for the asian american community but they're overrepresented in that based on the fact that they are really trying to do this okay there's a big push for them to do the these particular jobs the same thing that we saw uh, above with with the latino community okay there's a big interest in them being laborers plumbers and electrical workers and these are good jobs by the way okay especially in in hollywood union jobs that are laborers and plumbers and electrical workers these are very good high paying jobs all right so they found a niche something that they do right something that they want to do something that's important to them all right and they jumped all over it and now they're in there all right. And there's nothing wrong with that. The public also reacted to the film tax credit plan, and most of them did not find the proposal to be a good idea. It's not a good idea. Uh, check out the tweets below. All right. So they're responding to the Variety article. This guy says Hollywood managed to kill the golden goose. Anywho, check out my book, Dark Falling Days, available on Amazon. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, this guy says, what if instead of penalizing 4% for not doing it, they add 4% for doing? Well, that's what they did, Kent. That's exactly what it used to be, but then they reversed it and they said, oh, we got to go in the other direction because you can easily just fluff that off and be like, nah, we'll just not take the bonus and we'll just do what we want to do anyway. And this guy says, and that's why, and that's why they wonder productions, they wonder why productions are actually leaving LA or California. Woke quotas never work. Yep, they sure don't. This is just going to drive out productions to other states and countries, just like I just, I just got through talking about. A DI needs to be completely eradicated from all private and public institutions. This is illegal discrimination under the Civil Rights Act. It totally is. I don't know how people have been able to get away with this stuff for so long, okay? I mean, this is 60 years ago that they had said, you know what? No more race, no more skin color. All of Everybody's equal, okay? We're done with that. Hire based on race. You could get sued. You can have your company fined. You can have all kinds of problems going on if you choose to use race as a determining factor for hiring. And yet, here we go. We're still doing that crap 60 years later. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand how people have been able to get away with this stuff for so long. That's the problem. 
got these leftists that just don't want to accept that racism should be coming to an end. So they got to keep it up some way, somehow. They got to keep it up. They got to keep pushing it, okay? Racism was almost dead. It was almost done, all right? And they brought it back with a force, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Only time will tell if the proposed film tax credit will contribute significantly to the state's economy. It won't. <laughs> or strengthen the diversification of employees in the entertainment industry. It won't, okay? Stay tuned for more updates. Yeah, nah, this isn't gonna do anything but just completely wreck the film industry in California. And it's gonna create film industries in other states, right? Other states are just gonna jump all over it like we just saw with Nevada. Like, hey man, let's take advantage of this stuff. Hey, let's get our film industry cracking. Let's go, fellas. Come on. California is just chasing their Hollywood stars out of there, okay? All of that, all those millions and billions of dollars that these studios generate, yeah, they're chasing them out. They're going to try to chase them in our states. But be careful what you wish for, other states, because you just might get it. But anyway, folks, uh, what do you think about this situation? California doing more California-type stuff absolutely just amazes me how dumb this state is, especially Gavin Newsom. Go ahead, drop down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and your opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.